I'm Julie Chen. I'm a book artist as well as an educator. When I was in college, I was an art major. I wanted to be an artist. That was one of my goals. But I didn't really know what an artist did. That's not something they teach you in college. They teach you how to make art, but they don't teach you how to be an artist. When I decided to go back to graduate school in order to continue my education, I got the course catalog from Mills College, and I was looking at the printmaking program, MFA program, but further down in the catalog, there was another program called Book Arts, and I had no idea what any of it was. But there was something about the descriptions of the courses that just captured my interest. As soon as I walked into the studio, I felt like this is what I need to be doing. And I had no idea what any of the equipment did, but some voice was telling me that this is what I needed to do. I didn't feel like I had the authority as an artist to say, I'm just gonna create my own content and make a book. That was something I had to overcome during the whole two years of graduate school is to start to understand that I do have a voice and that I do have ideas that, in fact, the book form is the perfect form for me as an artist to be using. My main fascination with the artist book is that it does present this whole experience for the reader. It's interactive. It's not like you go into an art museum or an art gallery and you look at a painting and you're having this visual experience. With an artist book, you're actually having to turn the page or open a box or maybe deal with a book structure that you've never seen before in your life. And the idea of how is the content being revealed within that piece. You have so many facets that you can connect with a reader. And so I feel like that, I will never come to the end of that. There's just endless possibilities with the artist book. My background in printmaking and sculpture was the perfect setup for making artist books, at least the way I make artist books, because I really look at the book as a sculptural object. And so in a way, I feel like the universe was being kind to me and saying, study these things. Eventually, we're going to tell you why. Teaching, it kind of goes hand in hand with my studio practice. In order to teach someone how to make a book, I have to deconstruct it in my mind and understand what all the elements are that go into making a book. Not just the technical elements, but the conceptual elements. And I think that has really helped my studio practice. I think the main thing I would say that has helped me be successful is that I'm pretty much a workaholic and I've always been a workaholic. If you're not really dedicated to your, your art, to want to do it seven days a week, I think in any field it's going to be difficult. But I feel fortunate because this is what I want to be doing seven days a week. The process of making a book, I don't often know how it's going to end. And I think one of the things about having done this for so many years is I have the confidence now to know that it's going to happen. I wouldn't have gotten this far with a project without having the ending inside me somewhere, and it's just, I need that process to pull it out. But I think when I was starting out, I would panic. It's like, I can't actually start the book until I know how it ends. But now it's like, that's part of the excitement. It's like, I'm gonna start this book. That's part of the beauty of the whole process, of, of the bookmaking process being long and involved, but allowing you that time to get sort of to the end of your journey with the book, instead of like pre-planning the whole journey before you start.